Last night, Robin Thicke brought it on duets. And this morning, where can you see him sing at a concert event and a surprise special guest perform too? Good morning, America. This morning, it's Good Morning America's Summer Concert Series, amplified by Pepsi. Live for now. Hello to our online fans. I'm Diana Perez. And I'm John Muller with our top stories on this Friday, May 25th. The man who confessed to killing Eitan Pates, who disappeared 33 years ago today, is due in court in a matter of hours. Back in 1979, that man, Pedro Hernandez, worked at a corner grocery store near Eitan's New York apartment. Police say he has confessed to luring the six-year-old boy away from the school bus stop that morning by offering him a soda. It happened the first day Eitan's parents allowed him to walk to the bus stop alone. And there's been a stunning legal reversal for a Southern California football star who was wrongly convicted. Brian Banks sobbed as he was cleared of the crimes for which he spent five years in jail. When he was 16, a childhood friend accused him of attacking her. He pleaded no contest rather than risk conviction and decades in jail. His accuser contacted him recently, and when they spoke, she admitted lying and that he recorded that conversation. Well, an estimated 30 million Americans will spend the holiday weekend traveling. The number of people traveling by car is up a little more than 1% from last year, possibly due to dropping gas prices. Car rental and hotel rates are also down from last year. Airfares are up, and that could be why airline bookings are down 5% this Memorial Day. And here's this morning's special delivery. Literally, meet little Lily Goldsboro of Provo, Utah. She was born on Monday, and boy, was she in a hurry, such a hurry, in fact. Mom had no time to get into the car. Forget about labor. Lily nearly fell out of the womb. It was a good thing that Grandma was there because she caught Lily. Everyone is quite happy. Lily weighs 7 pounds, 8 ounces, and could not be any healthier. What a cutie pie. Get more news anytime at abcnews.com. I'm John Muller. And I'm Diana Perez. Thanks for watching. This is World News Now, available anytime, anywhere you want it. family. They almost never grant interviews, almost never talk about their personal lives. But this Tuesday night, Prince William and Prince Harry talk about a woman who's helped make them the men they are today. Behind closed doors, she's our grandmother. It's as simple as that. Revealing. Surprising. As I learned from growing up, you don't mess with your grandmother. Yes, very surprising. She hasn't friended you on Facebook? No, she hasn't. Why is she friend of you? Hopefully after this interview, she will. Yeah, well, she... <laughs> Katie Couric, the exclusive royal television event. We're taking you where cameras rarely go, inside the walls of Buckingham Palace. Tuesday night at 9, 8 central, The Jubilee Queen, with Katie Couric, only on ABC.